Hello, I'm Dr. Kushal Hippalgaonkar, orthopedic surgeon at Sunshine Hospitals. Today, I'll be talking about complications associated with rheumatoid arthritis and some tips about the management of rheumatoid arthritis. Now, coming to the complications of rheumatoid arthritis, as I said before, other than joints, rheumatoid arthritis can also affect the entire body. That means it causes softening of the bones of the entire body, a condition known as osteoporosis, which makes the bones uh, brittle and therefore susceptible to fractures. And also, there are something called rheumatoid nodules, which are uh, swellings associated with the joints, which basically happen at the pressure points of these joints. So, these are rheumatoid nodules. And coming from top to bottom, you might have dryness of the eyes and the mouth, a condition known as uh, Jogren's syndrome. Then also, at the back of the neck, there is something called cervical myelopathy, where you have a compression of the spinal cord, which runs through your uh, spinal canal, vertebral canal. So that can also be compressed, leading to symptoms of the same. And also, you can have something called a carpal tunnel syndrome, which affects your wrists. So basically, the nerve which runs through the wrist gets compressed, and you may have tingling and numbness of your uh, of your hand. It can also affect the heart in the sense that the arteries of the heart may be blocked, leading to heart problems. And then lung affection is also seen in the way of inflammation and scarring of lung tissue, which causes uh, difficulty in breathing and other related sy symptoms of the respiratory tract. Coming to the management of rheumatoid arthritis, um, there are some lifestyle modifications that can be made. That is, introduction of physiotherapy, that is, exercises in your daily routine is very important because, as we said, this rheumatoid arthritis affects the joints and makes it very uh, stiff. So, you need to really keep your joints supple and mobile until the disease process becomes inactive. Other than this, uh, it is very important to regularly follow up with the doctor and continue your anti-rheumatoid medication course because this is a lifelong condition and you're going to have to take treatment throughout. So that is most important. Some aspects of rheumatoid can be treated with surgery. For example, if you have a rheumatoid arthritis which primarily affects your knee joint, then you can have a total knee replacement surgery for your knees or if it affects the hip joint, then you can have a total hip replacement surgery for your hips. In which case, post-surgery, physiotherapy is again the most important way of managing it.